Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is May, also known as Miss Leva, and on this channel I love creating content about handbags, luxury, a little bit of fashion. So if any of that calls your attention, I would love for you to consider subscribing down below and joining the family. Today I did want to film my small leather goods or SOG collection. I do have a few pieces that I feel are very key to my collection at the moment, so I wanted to share them with you guys and show you how I use them as well. Now, since Louis Vuitton seems to be the hot topic of the moment, and if you follow the luxury houses, you probably know why, I did want to start off with the fashion house first. I'm going to show you a throw... I do have a total of three pieces that I've collected over time, and I feel like they are very practical and very versatile for my collection. So I did want to start with my Louis Vuitton card holder in the reverse monogram and this cutie right here retails for $220 at the moment. I did get her while I was in Vegas last year. We went around September so it's been about nine months and I must say I've probably used her seven of those nine months. I really really enjoy using this piece. It does have a total of three card slots as you can see in the first one I keep my license here I keep my most used credit card and then the center is actually pretty spacious for you to fit a couple more cards I keep there my insurance bank card and two or three bills folded up I personally don't tend to use a lot of cash so that is why the card holder is very convenient for me. If I do have any cash or change, I have a separate pouch that I put that in. At first, I was totally not a fan of the reverse monogram, but like everything else in Louis Vuitton, it slowly started to grow on me. So I knew when this piece came out, I definitely wanted to add it to my collection. Now continuing on the Louis Vuitton kick, I have my mini pochette in a Christmas limited edition print this is a forever item forever <laughs> i definitely will not part ways with this item it just has so much sentimental value and so much meaning behind it the regular canvas piece does run for about 440 dollars at the moment however if you do go for the animated versions they tend to be a little bit higher on price this was the limited edition piece for 2019 and I can't, <laughs> I can't. I, this piece just means so much to me. My husband and I actually spend a year living abroad in Paris. We spend about seven months and the rest of the time we were traveling around Europe, but we did house seven months in Paris. So Paris will always have such a special place in my heart. This piece came out and I had been wanting the mini pochette for quite some time. So when I saw this one, I just knew that I wanted to add it. But of course, being a limited edition piece, it was very, very hard to source. I would walk into the stores and they were always sold out. And like many of the pieces that I want and I share with my husband, I was driving him crazy. <laughs> so he actually had gotten it for me for Christmas. It didn't make it until Christmas. I think it was probably mid-December and he forwarded me the confirmation email and he's like, Merry Christmas because you are the most impatient person I know. So she did make it into the SOG family and I must say that I am totally obsessed. Now as per the mini pochette itself, it's such a great piece. I don't know what took me so long to add it to my collection. A lot of people do use it as a catch-all which is what I prefer to use it as I will show you in the cutaways what I keep inside which is a lot of random things but many people also choose to use it as a wristlet you can actually hook this piece onto the other side and carry it like so and then now since there are so many chains available in the market people do add a chain on both hooks here and they tend to use it as a crossbody Personally, for me, I just feel it's too small for a crossbody, but I've seen it on other people and it looks super, super cute. And then my last Louis Vuitton piece, which is the hot topic of 2021, it seems, is my toiletry pouch in the 19 size. Ugh, where do I begin? I don't want to make this a rant video because I'm sure that there are a few thousand of those out in the internet. 
but I will say that I am truly heartbroken that they have decided to discontinue all three of these pieces, especially since they are pieces that you can use in so many various ways. I was definitely very, very taken aback and sad when I heard the news that they were being discontinued but I am happy and thankful that at least I got one out of the three. So as of now, the toiletry 19 is actually a size which I really enjoy. I feel like it's a comfortable size to not only use for your travels, but also to carry inside your bags. It is basically a makeup bag, more or less. It does have a nice wipeable interior, which is awesome, especially if you're gonna be using it for travel purposes. This one, when I got it, was about 5.40, 5.30. I know that the prices had increased over the past couple of months, so it was more or less in that range. And I did want to actually add the 19 and the 26 to my collection for my birthday this year. But if you haven't seen my previous video, I will make sure to link it down below. I did opt for another gift that I was able to find and then I find out that they are being discontinued. <laughs> However, I have thought about adding the cosmetic couch couches. <laughs> However, I have thought about adding the cosmetic pouches instead. Hopefully that'll be a soon unboxing video. So now we are done with my little Louis Vuitton SOG family. I will go into my next card holder, which is one that I recently added to the family. I will make sure to link the video down below for you guys. And that is the Gucci card holder in this beautiful red color. I did get her here in the outlets in Orlando, Florida. And I personally feel like I got a steal on this piece. We paid about 170 for it and it is an all leather card holder. And as you can see, the slots are just so soft and smushy. I really, really enjoy using this one as well. Now, unlike the Louis Vuitton card holder, this one does have a total of five slots, which is quite generous because you can actually fit more cards that you probably grab from your day-to-day -day more often. It does have the center compartment as well, which you could probably store some folded cash if you needed to. But overall, I feel like this piece is just so nice. I love the GG embossed throughout the leather. I feel like it's such a nice touch and I really, really do enjoy the pop of color. I tend to be very neutral with my handbag color selection, but inside the bag, I love having items that pop in color, whether it's red, blue, anything like that. I always like to find a little party of color inside. Now reaching the end of my SOG collection, we do have a piece which I really, really enjoy. And it is in this little box and she is called the YSL Monogram Fragments Zippered Card Holder. Now that's a mouthful. So she's currently in here because I haven't been using her, but I did give her quite some use as soon as I got her. And here she is. She is really such a cute piece. It currently does retail for $3.75, which I think is a great price. It is their grained leather, which is really, really nice, especially since wallets are usually just inside your bag and they're bumping with other items that you may have inside. I would be terrified to probably have like a slam slam i would be probably terrified to have like a lambskin leather piece inside of my handbag this one does have a total of five card slots in the back and i must say at the beginning they were very tight but since it is leather over time they have stretched out not enough so that your cards fall off when they're in there but enough so that it's comfortable for you to put them in and out as you need to use them. Now, the idea behind this wallet is when we do travel to Europe, if you have been there, if not, they do give you a lot of change in a lot of coins. So when they give you change, you know, if you just have a card holder, then you have to find another spot to put that change in. So I felt like this would be ideal. I have the zipper compartment, which the card holder offers, and it's super spacious. So it's very nice to put bills, to put receipts, to put the coins. 
So that was the main reason why I opted for this wallet, but then I ultimately just fell in love with it. I did get it last year for my birthday, yes. And at that moment, they only had the black and they had a very stark white color. I was terrified of the stark white. I was like, that is gonna get color transferred just by looking at it. So even though I would have loved to have gotten this in a pop of color, like I said, to have inside my bag, I opted for the black. And just yesterday, as I was doing some research for this video, I realized they have like eight different colors. <laughs> so they have totally extended their color selection. If you are on the hunt for a new card holder, I highly, highly, highly recommend this piece. I love this Saint Laurent card holder. I must say that I'm super, super into Saint Laurent lately. I feel like they are coming out with so many great classic iconic pieces and I really can't wait to add a few more to my collection. All right guys, so that is the end to my little teeny tiny SLG collection. I feel like my pieces are very versatile and very practical, like I mentioned, for what I use on a day to day. At first, I always felt like Louis At first, I always felt like Louis Vuitton would be my go-to for small leather goods, but as I have branched out to other fashion houses, I have realized how many amazing pieces these fashion houses hold. Sometimes I just lean right into the handbag, but their small leather goods definitely deserve a chance as well. So I'm absolutely looking forward to adding a couple of more pieces into my growing SOG family. Let me know down below which one was your favorite out of my five pieces. Did you like the card holders or did you love that mini pochette like I do? I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video and if you did enjoy it, I would love for you to consider giving me a thumbs up and like I mentioned, joining the family for some more future content. I hope you have a great rest of your day wherever you're watching from and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye guys.